Hello, I'm uh, Frank Poli again here. The Leaders Debate is speaking with uh, Grand, Deputy Grand Chief Les Lutet from Nishinaabe Aski Nation. Uh, Grand Chief, you asked some really important questions in terms of connecting remote communities to the electricity grid and other, other very important questions to your communities. Uh, your thoughts on uh, the Leaders Debate and your thoughts on their answers? Well, I think it was a very good Leaders Debate. Uh, you know, for me, it's the first opportunity I've had, and uh, I know that I had the opportunity thanks to Al Spacek, who uh, got me uh, on the panel. And uh, yeah, I think uh, their answers were as best as they could, uh, considering that you know there's election coming up, and of course we won't know really until election day what you know what the outcome will be. And but I'm very happy, and I'm I'm glad I came here. And I think it was important uh, for the leaders to hear the perspective for northern leaders like yourself, regardless of who ends up, you know, being in the next government. We have a northern reality. We have our own needs that need to be addressed. So you raised a lot of good points. Uh, besides, uh, you know, connecting the remote communities, what other issues, especially the ring of fire and framework agreement, the revenue sharing agreement, or you, Aboriginal youth entering the workforce and being part of this new economic progress and evolution that we are witnessing? Yeah, well, you know, uh, I've always been trying to promote the fact that this is not simply a, uh, a local or regional development opportunity. It's, it's province, provincial-wide, even national, as, as the leaders stated. but for land first nations i want to make sure that the discussions and the consultations include as many as of them as they can because we're not all fortunate as first nation communities to have a mine next door to us so whatever impacts a major development like this 60 billion dollar plus development is going to have not only going to have the impacts of the immediate communities but it's going to have impacts down river on the James, the James Bay coast and then along the coast and who knows where. To the west we have communities who have been asking, well what about us, right? Even the smaller communities. We need to have that discussion. And I've had uh, some discussions already with uh, ADM uh, Alison Pila on revenue resource sharing, which would encompass the Ring of Fire so that our first stations will have will derive more financial benefits and economic business opportunities. Any other issues that are dear to your heart that you wish they would be covered? And if they haven't been covered today, what are the issues? We want our viewers to know what is important to the uh, to the Aboriginal communities, not only in NAN, but across our Northwestern Ontario and Northern Inter Ontario, because we are, after all, one community. And we need to be aware of all these issues that we need to deal with to make sure that we're going to prosper mm -hmm. in the in the future. Right, well, you know, the, the cost of living, obviously, and the cost of transportation, you know, the consumer price index, you know, these all impact our community, especially the ones in the far north that have to pay the extra transportation costs for all the goods and services, you know. Uh, we've got health issues, the uh, prescription drug uh, issue that's impacting a lot of our First Nations and kind of impeding, in a, in a way, uh, the ability to govern and uh, make good decisions. I'm not suggesting they don't, but it's it's another issue. Social services, uh, uh, education, you know, the Education Act, you know, we're in that discussion right now at the AFN level, but, you know, these are all uh, social, economic impacts that we're, we're continually being impacted on. So we hope that with these new opportunities, these developments, that we will gain the majority of, of benefits so that we can build our communities into a healthy, resilient communities. And we hope that uh, our provincial leaders of any parties will be listening and you know, working with you. I know you've been in the front lines of making some positive changes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we thank you for your participation today and for informing our viewers. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it.